Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to be checking out the 16 liter Roaring Cricket Tactical Backpack from Lee Gear and some of my personal thoughts having used this for the past few weeks. I also got myself the Lee Gear Mr. Control Sling Bag and that's in a separate video. Link in the description and at the end of this video. A real quick disclaimer, I am not a professional reviewer of backpacks, but because there isn't a whole lot of information on Lee Gear, I thought I'll make this little video to share with you guys what I think about the Roaring Cricket. Feel free to leave me any comments, suggestions, questions, and or if I made any errors with the details. Also, like all my past review videos, this video is not sponsored, nor is the product. With that said, let's jump right in. So I've had this backpack for a couple of weeks and have been extremely impressed with the way it looks, overall design and build quality. Dimensions wise, we're looking at approximately 18 inches in height, 9.5 inches in width and 5.5 inches in depth. It weighs in at 920 grams or about 32.5 ounces, which is a pretty good weight for a pack this size. This particular version is made from their Black Fox series of materials, which I believe to be predominantly 500D Cordura. While I've yet to really use and abuse this backpack, I'm gonna bet that it will be sufficiently durable for all my urban adventures. There are two YKK zippered compartments on this pack. The zipper for the smaller storage compartment up top is taped and sealed for water resistance while the main zip, which opens up the pack to an inverted U-shaped half clam, isn't taped nor sealed, but is protected with a strip to help reduce water seepage. There are also two smaller zip slits at the back for access to a water bladder. Weirdly, the zipper pulls for the main compartment are regular paracord and not the grippy type found on the other zippers. I'm not too sure why this is the case and I would have much preferred if they were identical. That said, at least they all pull really smoothly. At the back of the pack, some really really wide and well padded shoulder straps. They're laid out in a unique butterfly bridge design and together with these adjustable sternum straps help distribute the load and stress on the shoulders. Reinforced with carbon fiber cutouts, I can tell you from personal experience that the entire shoulder strap system performs really well. There are also two small O-rings on the shoulder straps, a perfect location for clipping on a small flashlight. Finally, buckles at the bottom end of the straps for quick and easy wearing and removing. The back panel is also really well cushioned with a memory foam sort of material, while offering decent heat ventilation. Here in tropical Singapore where it is mega hot and humid most of the time, I would have personally preferred a better ventilation system. Thankfully, it does offer good support thanks to this heavy-duty plastic and metal-reinforced inner backing. The manufacturer also sells an optional waist strap attachment sold separately, which connects to this quick-release system on the side. Why didn't it just come with the backpack? I have no idea. On the front main panel, there are 8 loops for attaching additional gear, which doubles up as anchor points for this elastic net. At the sides, 4 compression straps with buckles to really tighten the backpack down for a more streamlined overall package. These buckles can also be used to attach additional Lee gear packs for expanded storage. Two thinner nylon loops are attached to the side pockets, which are not that big, but will accommodate half-liter bottles.
at the base of this Roaring Cricket backpack, another two pairs of anchor points for strapping on additional gear. Back up to the top, a large 3.5 inch by 4.5 inch hook and loop panel for morel patches. With four of these smaller loops for smaller and lighter stuff that can be hung off a carabiner. And finally, as briefly mentioned earlier, a palm sized zip compartment for quick access to some of your frequently used gear. One of the key features I love about this backpack is its ability to really open up, sort of like a clamshell. This allows you to access your gear with ease. For me specifically, it makes packing a whole lot easier. Moving on to the main compartment of the pack, a large 9 inch by 6.5 inch hook and loop panel for even more organizing options such as admin pouches or if you really need lots of motivation, more morale patches. As well as 9 anchor points for straps to secure all your gear or a water bladder. There are also two smaller side lining pockets for items such as a foldable umbrella and because it doesn't go all the way down to the bottom should not interfere too much with the external side pockets. This is another example of how the designers at Lee Gear really put their minds together when designing this backpack. Finally, on the insides of the flip out, two more mesh pockets. By the way, if you're enjoying the video, please do consider subscribing to the channel and to hit that notification bell, as well as to smash the like button. You can also follow me on my Instagram account where I share content that is not shared on YouTube. Thank you guys in advance. As I mentioned at the start of this video, I've been using this Roaring Cricket backpack for a couple of weeks and I absolutely love it. I'm a massive fan of the tactile experience thanks to the various materials used, the practicality of all the compartments and subcompartments, and of course, how this backpack looks. If I had to be hypercritical, two minor complaints I would have would be that the strip of material that flips over the main zipper is quite stiff, making it harder to flip over, especially when the backpack is full. However, it might also be because this backpack is still really new and not seasoned. Another minor issue will be the ventilation on the back. While it doesn't trap heat per se, it also doesn't ventilate as effectively as I would like. I will continue to use this backpack for the upcoming months and will include it in my quarterly EDC video dropping sometime in July. Do also check out my first impressions video on the Mr. Control Sling Bag from Lee Gear. And if you want to see what I've been taking out with me for the past couple of months, do check out my two EDC videos. That's it for now. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you guys somewhere here. Peace out.